Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Chelsea and Family. This is going to be a different kind of video today. Um, I told you guys in my last couple pregnancy update videos that I was going to start doing videos um, like this, like cleaning, cooking, um, day in life, stuff like that. Um, these are the kind of videos that I will be doing after the baby is born. Um, so today's video is my first ever clean slash cook with me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you're new here, welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Um, so I just started by fill, filling the rest of my dishwasher and then, um, I will be hand washing the rest of the dishes in the sink. So as I start hand washing the dishes, you will see me put something in there other than just dish soap. It is my doTERRA On Guard cleaning concentrate and I used it the other day when I cleaned the burners on my stove and um, on electric stoves those burners can sometimes get really corroded and nasty with grease and um, like just hard stuff that's spilt over and um, the On Guard cleaner just really kind of helps sanitize um, give it a little bit of extra sanitizing if I could spit it out sorry <laughs> um, then just hot soap and water and it says on the bottle to put three tablespoons of the cleaner for every gallon of water you use but um, I didn't need that much water I didn't have that many dishes and a little bit goes a long way so I did only do one squirt but it really um, shines up those dishes mm -hmm. and I just know I feel better about um, them being cleaner when I use that um, cleaning concentrate. And here comes my grumpy boy until he gets in front of the camera then he likes to get all giggly and make faces. So after I'm done hand washing these dishes, I do um, spray down my sink because it, it just is so gross. It, you can't really see it when I show it on the camera, um, but there is just old food and it's all grimy and it just really needed a good cleaning. So um, I spray it down with a cleaner um, that I made myself. I found the recipe for it on Pinterest, but it says bathroom cleaner on it, but I use it in my kitchen sink too because it's really good um, at getting that soap scum and grime out and just kind of shines it up a little bit. And it is just um, apple cider vinegar, Dawn dish soap, and I use 20 drops of my Purify essential oil. Um, it said in the recipe to use a lemon essential oil, so you could do that too. Um, I just choose to use the Purify because it's got other oils in it that help disinfect and clean, and um, I really enjoy the smell of it too. Um, but there he is again, making faces. <laughs> but um, never a dull moment. <laughs> So in case you're wondering, um, this is not the same sponge that I'm cleaning my sink with. It is not the same sponge that I use to clean my dishes. Um, I, it is a old sponge that I had set aside. It had gotten worn out from using it so much and I set it aside because I knew I was going to be cleaning my sink soon. So just wanted to clarify that um, I am not scrubbing out my sink with the same sponge that I clean my dishes with.
you guys can't really tell, but the reason I'm scrubbing like over and over again when it looks like it's already clean is um, <clears throat> that <clears throat> cleaner that I made works really, really well, but because it is made up mostly of dish soap, it does get very, very bubbly and I'm just trying to wipe out all of the bubbles and soap. Um, it, even if you can't see it on camera, there was still a lot there. So I am just <laughs> trying to get those bubbles out before I dry it. So I also wanted to add that the spray cleaner that I'm using is also from that doTERRA On Guard Concentrate. Um, the measurements are just a little bit different, but um, this year I really, really want to try and take a more natural approach to um, the things that I'm using around my house, uh, especially with a newborn around. I just really want just clean, pure things in the air. Um, and that includes all of my cleaning products as well.
I just wanted to add in here that my kids love being in front of the camera. Um, they beg me all the time to make them their own YouTube channel. But whenever I've got the camera on and they're around, they want to be right in the mix of it. And they really wanted to <laughs> show um, <clears throat> their costumes that they were wearing. They love to dress up. And um, I know in that last scene, it looked like I really got frustrated with my daughter and just like moved her. But that's just like the way it looked on the camera. Um, her and James were fighting over being in front of the camera. So I just moved her out of it and um, she got mad. But uh, I was trying to keep them both out of the camera so it didn't take away from... Um, the cleaning aspect of it, but now that I'm watching it, it's actually pretty cute. So for dinner, I made a chicken vegetable soup. Um, <clears throat> and I didn't follow any sort of recipe. I just kind of threw it together myself. Um, but this is where I get the chicken started in the crock pot so it can cook for um, a few hours. So I chose to use chicken stock with this meal, but you can also use chicken broth. Um, I just put enough chicken stock in there to um, cover just the bottom of the crock pot so that my chicken can cook in it. And then these are my go-to seasonings, basically. I love to use garlic powder and then just some salt and pepper on just about anything unless it's supposed to have um, like a certain flavor to it. but. If not, these are my go-to's. The three of them combined just makes everything taste so good. So now I'm just going to cover up my crock pot and then turn it to low for about four hours and that all just depends on how quickly your crock pot cooks. Mine usually cooks on the high side um, so halfway through I do end up having to turn it down to warm um, because warm cooks like low. Next I am just hard boiling some eggs. Um, to prep some egg salad for the week for my husband's sandwiches. Um, I boil my eggs for about 10 minutes, then take them off the burner, let them cool um, off the burner for about two minutes, and then I run them under cold water and stick them in an ice bath.
Now it's time to shred my chicken. Um, it's been about four and a half hours. The chicken is cooked all the way through. It's nice and juicy and easy to just shred apart. So I'm gonna shred that and then stick it back in the chicken stock so it can stay um, moist while I prep my vegetables. So now I'm going to just chop up all of my vegetables and please don't make fun of me. I am horrible at chopping vegetables. <laughs> um, some of it just comes out looking really ridiculous, but um, I was, I know you can't really tell, but I was trying to rush. It was getting late and um, yeah, so uh, these vegetables don't come out so pretty. Um, but I'm just going to chop up all my vegetables, put them directly into the crock pot, and then I will be adding the rest of my broth. So here I just added in as much broccoli as um, my preference is and then there were some really big pieces in there so I just kind of broke them into the, like the little individual trees and um, that way it was easier for the kids to eat as well and it just fit better in the soup. So I added the rest of the box of broth. And then um, I did add some additional water to make more broth. I would say I added about um, a cup and a half of water. I don't really uh, recommend that. It did come out a little bit watery. Um, I would just add more broth. I thought because since it was chicken stock that um, and it was a little bit saltier that it would stretch farther, but I don't recommend it. I recommend just adding the extra broth.
Next, I added a can of diced tomatoes. I almost forgot to add those in there. Um, and that seriously made the soup. Um, it just really gave it a good vegetable flavor and um, kind of sweetened it up a little bit. Uh, not too much, but um, it just, it tasted so delicious. I really recommend if you make this soup, adding that can of diced tomatoes. So while the soup was cooking, I finished up making my egg salad for the week. Um, I am now peeling my eggs. Um, if you have an easier way to peel eggs, please let me know down in the comments below because I usually like will crack each end of it and then like kind of do some cracks in between, but it just ends up being like little itty bitty shells and takes me forever. And then I feel like I'm destroying the egg with like all the little itty bitty shells. I mean, I rinse my eggs before I use them um, just to make sure I get all the little bits of shell off, but I just feel like it takes me forever and I take the, I'm known to take the hard way for everything. So if you have an easier way um, that you can get the shells off in big pieces, please leave down in the comments below what that is. And then there's my goofy husband who will, you will see quite often um, in the rest of this video. He is no better than the kids when it comes to the camera being out and likes to be a big fat goofball.
that wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed um, this clean slash cook with me. And I guess it's a little bit of meal prep in there too. Um, <clears throat> if you um, enjoyed this video or would like to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, I really enjoyed doing this video. It was a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.